Yo, welcome to episode 145 of Crash Me's Podcast. You know something we, you stopped doing? No, no, no. What? You stopped the doing like the, you know, when we in like the double digit numbers, yeah. we're doing like the sports person. You haven't done that in a while. Who the fuck is 145? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I just want to put out there that we got an addiction that we're dealing with. Uh, one of our members of the podcast, Michael S. Yobu. Whoa, whoa, what, has, wait, whoa, what happened? Has a caffeine addiction. <laughs> he drinks two monsters and a coffee a day. Sometimes I see him go for the other coffee later on. Because mind you, me and Mike talk a lot during mm-hmm. the day, and he's always getting some type of caffeine. I want y'all to reach out to his inbox, <laughs> inbox <laughs> and say, Mike, stop the shit. <laughs> no, we're trying to stop him before he get too crazy. I think I'm all right. That's what crack is. <laughs> you know the messed up part? I built such a like high caffeine tolerance that yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, yeah. it's terrible. That's like, what it, crack doesn't, is. it doesn't even do anything for me. <laughs> like it doesn't even do anything for me. Like I could take a, a monster energy drink at like nine PM and be still sleepy. So that's, what, that's what crackheads say. <laughs> <laughs> that's all crackheads say. Everything you just named. It don't affect me like that. I'm different from the other crackheads. Don't be using it. I right. am different from the other like crackheads though. Is there, if if nah. I was a crackhead, how? I don't know because I, like I have I a lot going. Good. I got a podcast. Yeah. Crack at the end of the day. Yeah, but I'm like I have a so podcast. I'm making money for crackheads. Yes. Anyway, it's make sure you than an unsuccessful <laughs> weed head. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you uh, subscribe to the Patreon. We just dropped the episode on Monday. Um, got a fight this week so i mean if you guys want to buy tickets to the fight just to support you guys yeah. can even though you're not gonna make it don't talk to me while you're there <laughs> busy um but yeah like you were saying though do you think being an unsuccessful weed head is worse than being an unsuccessful crackhead then a successful crackhead you said unsuccessful twice that's what i'm saying no, oh you, you said both yeah said, does they're, I guess they're both unsuccessful. Yeah, yeah, but one is going to be just going, horrible. What one hasn't reached rock bottom yet? That's the that's the problem. Weed? Like, well, we no, can, weed. If we you're if you're unsuccessful bottom. and you smoke weed, you're at, you're like that's your rock bottom, right? Uh-huh. If you're unsuccessful and you're a crackhead, like you got a little bit lower to go. Like shit about to get worse. <laughs> 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 you about to lose a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you now. <laughs> uh, let me read you this just thing wait from. On it, nigga. From Reddit, and the title is, Am I crazy for asking my boyfriend not to wear certain underwear again? She said, Love my boyfriend. He's cute, and he has his hobbies, and I think it's adorable that posters on his wall and stuff in his car. They were Christmas presents from a year ago, but I just have a bit of a problem pulling down his trousers, and the picture of Pikachu on his boxers look like look a little funny because his bulging boner is stretching it out. Not saying it's a mood kill, but it's a little distracting for me. I like it when he's dominant and they just don't have the, that vibe. So I asked them, hey, if you know you. <laughs> so I asked him, hey, if you know we're meeting up that day, I'll give him a pass if it's a spontaneous. Could you not wear anything like that? I explained the reasons why. He said that's 100 percent OK. And he should have thought about it, how it looks from my POV. Even asked if there's anything specifically I like him to wear like color or something that looks sexier with. I was telling a friend about this situation because I think it's kind of funny. And she said if she was him, she'd think it's kind of weird. And I'm asking that I'm asking that because it's not that big of a deal. And I was kind of weird to be bothered by it. Okay, Is one it thing, I, I, I hate when people ask their, their the friends, friends after their best the friends <laughs> stuff. Because I could come to you and be yeah. like, bro, was I wrong for punching dude? You'd be like, hell no, yeah. you was right. And the only thing dude did was say hi and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You side was your friend at the end of the day. Exactly. And then, second of all, She's not attracted to you if the underwear make her unattractive. Yeah. She's like, ooh, I'm so wet. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for you. And then you pull down your pants. Not the Pikachu draws. Uh-uh. Yeah. Like, she was never going to do nothing. Like, <laughs> but I think that's super childish. Stay think, you, man. Stay it, you. It was funny because it was. Oh, it's also funny asking your friend for advice after you already got the confirmation from your, your person that you're with that it's okay like let me know and in in the same sense though if that's the person you want to be with you should allow your partner to make it to it just, express themselves like it, that. it depends on like why is he wearing that is that his thing <coughs> yeah. and if that's his thing he doesn't need to give it up but if he just bought the wrong pack of underwear and it's just in his rotation now then that's something that he probably could hear because yeah. why would i want if i don't even care about these underwear 
why would I make my partner mad over? Yeah, I, exactly. Especially me being a Batman fan. Like if somebody told me I couldn't wear Whoa, Batman oh, you, <laughs> pajamas. The way you just like tell on yourself unprovoked. It's, you wear Batman underwear? Yeah, I don't care, bro. Y'all, like, <laughs> why you gotta be a Samus? You got another that? nigga on your drawers? <laughs> 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 bro, come on. Nigga, he got the this white man on his drawers. It's crazy. <laughs> bro, no. no nigga but got Bruce Wayne by the <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's. Hell no. Don't you think it's very mature, though, that. Man, you- fuck all that, man. What the fuck? <laughs> You gonna let that shit slide? Bro, what Hell is wrong no. with that? Hey, whatever he does in his personal bro, life, I really don't. What's got, wrong with Batman? <laughs> you got... Hold on, hold on. What's wrong with Batman? Why does Mike sound like that? What do you mean? Uh, doing it, again. <clears throat> it does. Yeah, yeah, it does turn around. Well, I'd listen to it. It sounded okay. Uh, okay. But uh, anyways... But yeah, what's wrong with Batman? Ain't nothing wrong with Batman. So what's wrong with Batman clothing? You're a, you're a 21 year old man. It's 50 year old man wearing. It. So right. would you rather have the Nike logo they across your crotch? Too, right along like, with just you. because it's a you rather have the Nike logo across your crotch? Who wearing, uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Nike, Hanes, <laughs> Nike Regal. boxers. What Nike boxers got it by the crotch? I'm just saying, general, you're wearing Nike crotch boxers. Yeah. What the? It's fuck? It's a logo. That be he yeah, probably has the, the logo. That, no, oh, you saying the logo? Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's like he has to actually like no, the Batman. Got, no, they <laughs> he got the Bruce Wayne's. He got he got a picture of Batman on his ass throwing a little blade. <laughs> <laughs> don't come near my booty hole. <laughs> what? The, what the fuck? You see this? This man is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this bro. dude got Bruce Wayne on his balls, bro. <laughs> bro he got that. Jeffrey going down the leg. So there's something I was thinking about. Um, how mama jokes aren't in, how mama jokes aren't in style anymore. Depends on who's telling it. It depends, but I, I feel like when we were kids, you could say anything and be like, "Yo, mama," right? Right, right, right. That was like the easiest comeback. Mm-hmm. I think now you can't do that as much because a nigga will shoot you. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Your mama is definitely fighting words. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's no good yo mama jokes anymore. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Unless you're trying to like offend someone. They remember that show, Yo Mama. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It had the dude, uh, Fez from uh, that '70s show. Oh yeah, it? he was hosting it. Yeah. It was a show called Yo Mama. Yeah, they yeah. Would just do Yo Mama jokes back and forth. And I'm pretty sure the show. Now we know what we know about MTV shows is that they're all That's, fake, yeah. all scripted. So even MTV Cribs. All yes. that shit is scripted. Oh, Some yeah. of them people didn't even live Pit there. Pit My Ride? Yes, yes that's scripted. the main one that's scripted. They ain't bullshitting, man. Yeah, yeah. they said Pit My Ride. Some of the cars weren't even, like, functional. <laughs> <laughs> like, they all, all they did was, like, design the outside yeah. and all this stuff, and it wasn't, like, drivable. Yeah. That's bogus. They just though. made them a bunch of mini <laughs> RVs that don't yeah. move. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be so mad at that show. They'd be, like, taking all the trunk room for right. a freaking subwoofer. Nigga they, they, <laughs> they here playing PlayStation in his garage through the trunk. And yeah. <laughs> we used for something, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, when you gonna clean that fish tank, bro? <laughs> Ain't no fish tank. They, they had a fish tank in their car. It's crazy. <laughs> we heard... That your mama <laughs> used to fry fish before she died, so we put fish <laughs> in your gas tank, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> we heard that you had an attraction <laughs> for handicapped women, so we did. We put a chairlift in your shit. <laughs> we heard your dad wasn't in your life, so we gave you a milk dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> How does shit work? <laughs> they can put a big siren, like a Batman little logo, <laughs> for his dad's name in it. Nasty ass food. I'm in a nasty ass mood. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, exhibit, bro. Exhibit. Yeah. I used to think exhibit was like who he was on yeah. that show. Uh-huh. Like I was like, that's exhibit for me, bro. Y- <laughs> y'all remember a thousand ways to die? Yeah, I yeah. remember that. That was on MTV too. Mm. I think so. I don't think so. I don't know. Or was it fifty four? <laughs> 52 was MTV, right? I hate when people bro, throw the channel thing. You got to throw the channels in there. Bro, I hate when people do that channels. when we never had the same channels growing up. So who did y'all have? For what? For <laughs> cable. I, I don't I remember. remember. Yeah, I don't remember having cable. So how do you know what channels it was? We were in bro, different states. Or sta- different more, states, bro. More likely we had different channels. Mm. Yeah, that's how it worked. It's crazy the shit that you do know and that you don't know. That's because... Well, do you I have cable? Nah. I don't either. I haven't had cable in like... Years. I don't just know. played out. I got YouTube TV. Yeah, YouTube. That counts as tech cable. Yeah, yeah tech. Yeah, not really, not but really. it's a streaming yeah. service. No, anybody that got cable, like, they worry me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they just make, make me think that you're not 
you don't have enough. There's a lot of time. There's a lot of time in your hand. Yeah, and like more likely if you have cable, you still don't have access to other things. Yeah. So you still have to buy those things anyway. That's and I feel like 45. whatever I feel like whatever show you like watching this nigga on still saying channels. And shit. <laughs> no, I would say the extra forty five dollars <laughs> for packages, because you know they got add on packages. They do have add-on pack. I know Look at this, Nick. Like, what's up? I'm there to me. I, but, I, I guess <laughs> that's useless information. That's <laughs> but <laughs> any, any, um, I feel like any shit series that you kind of like on TV, you there's probably on demand as well on some type of streaming um, service as well. Oh, yeah, true. Because they have the channel. Yeah. Yeah, so if it's like, not, I don't know if there's any it, show that's like really popular that's only on TV. Yeah, Even because, like when Game of Thrones on TV is like there was an HBO the show, yeah. and they would show it right after it aired on streaming service. Yeah, it, right. Every channel, every major show is backed by a channel. Yeah, no matter what. And all those channels, all those major networks have their own streaming platforms now right. too. You so can just go, go click there. the app, and yep. they'll have it somewhere back there. They just don't have everything. Uh-huh. Nigga, going one watching <laughs> Fox for one thing. Fuck him out on Fox for. <laughs> oh yeah, Drea, Drea. I think his last name is Michelle. Is um pregnant with Jalen Green's um kid, and I guess there's a big controversy about it because uh, <laughs> what would you do that for? Cause she got the bag. <laughs> Did she got the bag for her dating? Hell yeah! <laughs> but she, she remind got- me of Larissa Pippen, kind of. If that's what her name is, Larissa. Right? Larissa Pippen. <laughs> Gave her like five extra syllables. <laughs> Larissa, like the fuck. <laughs> but basically, people are on her because of uh, the age difference. Because I guess Jalen Green is twenty two, twenty two, and damn near the same age of her, her son. son. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> do you think that's like a a controversy with the the age? No. Nah. I like cougars. People people think it's predatory because um you're grown. Yeah, you're grown, but you also offer a lifestyle maybe another twenty two year old maybe can't offer and stuff like that. I don't know. I think it's one of those things where like especially as a guy, you always look at those older women that are uh that are good looking and be like, Oh yeah, she's really good. I would date her type of shit type but it's like at the end of the day, would you actually date somebody thing, twenty years older okay, than you? So so the thing about it is like like, what they don't realize is from the aspect of the guy, yeah. right? Because we're starting to see the trend is, like, the younger guy has a way older girlfriend. <laughs> these kids that were, like, these kids were 16, 17 with no money. Yeah. 14, 15, 16, 17 with no money. And they these are the women that they fantasize about. And now they have millions, and this woman is actually talking to them. Yeah. I can guarantee you Jalen Green... Like Drea when he was 15, 16. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he grew up and went and go got her. So from his perspective, he went and got the girl that he always wanted. Yeah. And But from everybody else's perspective, they like, oh, Drea tricked him. Like, you know what I'm like, saying? I mean, like, like, I was like, we were just talking about that on Patreon. Like, if Oprah Winfrey was hitting on me, I, I'll give her a chance. Oprah is crazy. I you mean, I'm just, I just think about A's a- a- guy. I'm just thinking just for the, like, the, it's not even because, like, I, I would, like, this is gonna last forever, but as Oprah said, "Mike, let's go, let's go have dinner and we start hanging out a little yeah. more." I probably would do that. The th- the I'll go on a date with Oprah. I feel <laughs> like it depends on how your where your mental is at, like depending on those age gaps. Yeah, because some people are a lot more mentally advanced for their age. Mm-hmm. But the, the thing I hate is like they be, when people say that a person wouldn't be with the person because of this, right? Yeah. So Drea wouldn't talk to Jalen Green if he didn't have money. Well, he wouldn't be Jalen Green then. It's yeah, just like yeah. when and we wouldn't care. Yeah, when people always try to find like, oh, I'm gonna find a person that like me for me. Yeah, like okay, so you, what you gonna do? Pretend to be a broke ass. Yeah, nigga? <laughs> right. So now you're, you got a girl that's attracted to yeah. broke ass niggas, and you wonder why she cheating on you with a broke ass nigga. <laughs> your stat- she wasn't authentic, <laughs> nigga. I think you your had st- money. I think your status is always gonna matter in the dating field because one, you're gonna be in a room. You know, just to access to them, right? Yeah. And somebody, some people want people that understand their industry or just understand being around famous people. So exactly. that's something they might find attractive is that you are doing something for yourself and yeah. something like that. You're famous. It's yeah. just it is attraction. And it, and it's and right. It's 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 a it's a taste thing. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a taste thing. It's just like. I don't want if I say I'm hungry, I don't need you bringing me no Wendy's. Like, yeah. all right, let's let's. What's wrong with wait a minute? What's up with Wendy's, man? That's just not where I'm at right now. 
Well, what's up with Wendy's? Though? I went through my Wendy's phase. I just seen Bill Gates eating Wendy's. Wendy's. That shit fake. <laughs> I think it's that way. Nigga, Bill Gates eating uh, Wembyama and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen Bill Gates eating Wemby. Right. <laughs> Pause, Wemby. brother. Pause. That's what you said, Wemby. <laughs> Wemby is one of your favorite players. He is. Yeah. And you say Yoke is just best looking dude in the NBA. Never said that. Yeah, he did. I don't know who the best looking dude in the NBA is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, I don't look at him like that. <laughs> oh, that that's how you think it said it's a toss up. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Pat, bro. That nigga's the, everything, that nigga is the ultimate reach master. <laughs> uh, pause. <laughs> how is that pause? The reach around master is insane. I said the reach master. What? See, he just be adding shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was me. I'm trying to load up a clip and keep going to freaking. Not yeah. me. I agree with the. Just keep going to a kid. <laughs> Anyway, there was a thing of Kevin Hart talking about uh, his haters, and he was basically saying that even though that you know people hate on him and this and that, he's still filling out arenas and and stuff like that. And I was looking in the comments, and obviously the comments is always toxic. People were just saying Kevin Hart just isn't that funny anymore to me, and he was just funnier when he didn't have money and stuff like that. And I know we talked about this many a times, but do you think like as somebody progresses, especially in the comedy world? you start progressing towards like more Hollywood, like they start to deem, they start to seem less funny to the crowd that they came up with in a sense. Yeah. We talked about this a little bit before, but I don't think people know like, okay, if I start off, most comedians that are black have to get their start through the people that are around them. Right. You got to start doing shows (laughs) locally and you cater your material to the people that you're trying to appease. So yeah. like if I start, if I grow up in the hood, I got to make my comedy for the hood. But yeah. as I grow, you realize like we're still the minority. Like there's still like mm-hmm. you got to the, the worldwide. So how how can I get more people to laugh at my stuff at the same exact time? Yeah. So if I go to a Kevin Hart <laughs> show at the beginning when he first started and I laugh at 99 percent of the jokes because he made it for me. Yeah. Now I go to a Kevin Hart show. And I laugh maybe two or three times within an hour really hard, right? And it's less, and I can say, damn, he's less funny. But he also got this person who's from New Zealand, this person who's from California, this person who's from Australia. We all laugh each three times at three different things. Mm -hmm. That's way better than just making one group like laugh. People don't get that. Yeah. And he has a whole nother crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Please. I think, too, I think because when you... When you're advancing in any industry, you're going to lose some fans, but you're also going to gain that broader audience. Again, as a comedian or anybody, like, you don't always want to stay niche, right? Because you think about the biggest uh, musicians, Drake and stuff like that. You go to those concerts, there's a lot of white people there. There's a lot of black people there, you know? But, again, you got to remember, black people are, like, what percent of the America? Really? (laughs) Yeah, really. Minority? (laughs) So, (laughs) you like, you do that, and you're kind of doing these shows. Like, you're going to be capped at some point, and you have to make it your comedy a little bit more universal. And sometimes that does come with losing some of your, I guess, your core, yeah. in a sense. I mean, you got to be versatile for, like, longevity. Yeah, exactly. Like, if anytime me and Mike, we were really good at, like, listening to an artist rap and just be like, he got about two years. Yeah. Like, 100%. Because then you'll see, um, like, the hottest rapper right now, uh, 1250. Uh, all you gotta do is get in with me. Oh yeah, boss man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and I just saw him drop another freestyle, and it's the same exact flow, mm-hmm. right? So next time if I hear him and he got the same flow for the next couple songs, I know like it's a cap on like where he could go. Is if he doesn't switch up his yeah. flow and he doesn't find a new pocket to go in, mm-hmm. you gotta be versatile to keep going. Not saying that people can't get there because yeah. I've been wrong before. Be like, oh, that's not gonna work, and then they switch at the last moment. But I've never been wrong about them actually switch. Like they have to switch. Yeah, like you can't just keep the same. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> yeah. People just going That's how people get on you. The baby, one of the biggest artists in the world. You see people try to turn on him. It's the same thing every single time. But even, the baby cold though. Even when it's not though. Yeah. You know All what right. I'm saying. Even when it's not, but if you own a majority of your songs, you even had that, you gotta switch it up. I feel like it's about what. That's you why Drake say. went techno. <laughs> <laughs> Music is so like like one of those things that just changes like every second, bro. It's just yeah, like it's. Like, bro. I think people don't know what they even like these days. Mute and mute. You gotta keep it away from that. Uh, the music is so subjective. Yeah. Like, I've literally seen, I clicked on a video. I'm glad I don't know the artist's names. I don't wanna bash artists, but. I've clicked on a video and 
listen to the song, and the song was one of the worst fucking songs I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> uh -huh. And I clicked on the comments, and boy, it was so many fucking fire emojis under there. Oh, <laughs> and it was like viral, and I'm yeah. just like, damn. The only reason I saw this dude is because his fan base that he has, which has a decent sized fan base, they built him up to where it came to my ears. And I said, this shit is ass. Yeah. And I was like, damn, this is how haters are born. Yeah. Just the algorithm, like, 10 of your friends like this, huh? And it's like, fuck no. And yeah. now I got to type you ass, bro. Yeah. Bad. No, <laughs> I be thinking friends I don't be. Type that, I don't be thinking friends really like their their friends' music sometimes. No, they don't. And just, it's just posting they, it because you they gotta have to. You got to tell them the truth, man. If a song is ass, a song is ass. Like, I sent y'all a song. And you were like, eh, it's not it. Like, you got to no, 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 be no, honest. No, 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 no. This song was good, though. It was it's good, but it's just com good compared to the other song. The other song, right? But but that's I, what I'm saying. But that's, that's honesty, though. Honesty. That's what I'm getting. But at. I'm saying just like, but sometimes it's it's about the moment, though, right? Depend on like if you if your girlfriend had just left you, right, mm. and you're watching a movie about something similar, and then on the soundtrack of that movie, this song came out. Bam, that's one of your songs. And you don't even know why. It don't even match the genre that you really like. you like, that's my song. Everybody got those songs, but if they never was in that mode, they would have never liked that song. And then when you become friends with somebody, like, why the fuck you like this yeah. song? I would, say, I, would say there, that, my nigga. <laughs> I would say that I never liked the song uh, Nonstop by Drake when it first came out mm. until I was actually out. At a club, and that mm. song was playing. That bass starts. That bass start hitting the back of your head. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? I wish, I, wish, I wish artists. I wish artists would put on each track. Where's the best place to listen to this song? Yeah. Because songs I, definitely. You definitely I was, need a. Vocal. I was not a Future fan, like whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Like I like his major popular song, just like everybody else. But when somebody tried to put the like the deep Future on, where you have to like. Actually like, pay attention. Yeah, you actually have to pay attention. I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Yeah. Same thing with Thug. I used to be like that. I was like 17, 18. Boy, when I started getting high in college, boy, <laughs> I understood everything. <laughs> I said, God damn, these niggas spit. <laughs> but my first time realizing I like Thug, bro, I was like sitting there amazed. I was like, yeah. bro, I can hear every word this nigga said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But in, in reality, you realize like, I think when you try, I think anytime you think an artist is garbage, just try to rap like him. Mm. And just be like, damn, that's kind of like, that's kind of talented. Like, you ever tried to rap like Blueface? Like no. the offbeat Blueface? No. No. It's, it's so fucking hard, bro. I feel like you could do that. Like, anybody could do that. No. Offbeat? Nah. Yes, you can. And be schoolyard crip? No. <laughs> <laughs> talented guy. <laughs> Blueface, baby. You think people like can be still affiliated with a gang hard? And still rap? Yeah. They, there they are do. some people. What I'm just saying, about? like, be really affiliated. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like you can't have your feet in both and be successful. You're saying, like, as I'm like, not talking about, like, a Snoop Dogg crib. You're talking about, you're talking <laughs> about, like, Lil Baby. Yeah. Like a, like a. Like, I feel like at some point you got to, if you want to take, like, the Lil Baby route where you're on, like, a tag commercial and you're performing for the World Cup and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. You can't do that. Yeah. But if you like, I feel like Dirk is pretty high up there and he's yeah. still affiliated with something in part. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, but Dirk is always only up there when it comes to certain songs. Correct. Because he had, because the way his song. Yeah. It's just not that. The J. Cole song, the one he did with Drake. Yeah. Because like, he's not really saying anything yeah. crazy. And if he is, it's kind of like subliminal to where. Yeah. A person <laughs> on the like a yeah. regular person could be on Jimmy Kimmel dissing your ops is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking a hand with the president, <laughs> signing the bill to stop the violence. <laughs> Just killed four niggas. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop them from doing the violence. <laughs> <laughs> they was gonna kill more people. That's all he killed them. <laughs> it's always interesting it. seeing those Jimmy Kimmel performances sometimes, just like the end, because I'm like, I know Jimmy doesn't I don't know watch the song. Jimmy Kimmel. I always see the on the um, on YouTube. Oh, okay. I don't think I don't think I don't see any of these shows on TV anymore. That's a, you, like you, American Idol, yeah. Jimmy Kimmel. I don't even know what happens. Although you know, all the late night shows used to end like that. Yeah, every single late night show. Even Dave, Dave Chappelle used to do it too. What the, the late night show did Dave Chappelle have? I mean, not a late night show, but he did it on the Chappelle show. Oh yeah, he used to always end it with a musical performance. Mm -hmm. That was like the thing. Like Jay Leno used to do it. Yeah, I had cable when I was growing up, so that's all I used to watch. My dad used to make me watch. 
Jay Leno. I remember when Jimmy Fallon first took over. Yeah, Jimmy Fallon was tough. Yeah, Jimmy Fallon. He, he had a lot of haters. When yeah. He came, everybody was mad. I used to get them too confused. I was like, Jimmy Jay and Jimmy. No, Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel. They're not hell the same no. person? No. No, hell no. <laughs> Damn. Jimmy Fallon way better. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them white though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> same beast, different animal. <laughs> anyway, let's get to some listener callers. You ever met somebody that stinks so bad and you're just like, man. Your whole body needs deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> what other parts would they, what other parts would be smelling? The uh, the creases. <laughs> you need to put the deodorant in every single crease you got. I knew somebody that's there between the elbows used to get really, really sweaty. And musty too. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> every time he opened the door, God damn. <laughs> but thanks to Mando, you might not have to worry about that anymore. Mando is a whole body deodorant, meaning you can use it for your armpits. Your feet and your balls. <laughs> Another good thing about Mando is that it lasts 72 hours and it's actually created for men's scent. So you're not going to walk around smelling like the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> Why do you want to smell like the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> Why do you want to smell like nobody that hold teeth all day? <laughs> I know the Tooth Fairy. I know the Tooth Fairy stink like that. <laughs> anyway, we have a special offer for you guys. So new customers get $5 off the starter pack with our exclusive code dummies at shopmando.com. Wait, we got to tell them how to spell dummies. D U M M. I E S. Ah, you look for me to help. <laughs> oh, tapping like a keel in the beat. What's going on over there? All right, back to the show. Whether you're looking to spice up your intimate moments or increase your confidence in the bedroom, Joy Mode makes all natural and science baked supplements to helping men perform better across their core functions. So, yeah, you got to stop going and getting them uh, gas station pills. Gas station pills, <laughs> the honey pack. <laughs> y'all boys don't be reading the labels on them or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like, y'all y'all basically taking something that's right next to cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, All right. Uh, <laughs> whether you're happy or unhappy with your performance in the bedroom, why not perform even better? So make sure to go to usejoymode.com slash dummies and get 20% off using the code dummies at checkout. That's 20% off. And free shipping using the the code dummies and use J O Y M O D E dot com slash dummies. Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast, bro. Hey, glad to be here, man. Hey, man. Happy to have you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a question for you. It hey, was that question. What's the worst thing that you've ever searched for on the internet? Okay, so the worst thing I ever searched for when I was on the internet was why does it burn when I piss? <laughs> and I feel like everybody, like, everybody always looked up, like, their medical, like, di uh, diagnosis on Google or whatnot. Mm -hmm. I was I was convinced I had cancer. I was convinced. I was, like, crying and shit. And I was, like, I was, like, 17. I was, like, crying. I was about to tell my parents. Wait, I was, wait, like, so because it burned because you peed? And yeah, because that's what it told me. It always leads to cancer every time you look it up. Yeah, and yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, does it hurt when you lay down? Yeah, you about to die, nigga. <laughs> How about that? So you didn't think you went straight to cancer and not like a, a STD? Okay, so listen. So number one, it was like testicular cancer. And then number <laughs> two, it was like chlamydia. But I was like, there's no way I can have chlamydia. Because I'm in a loyal relationship that I've been in for a year and a half, right? <laughs> yeah, real loyal. <laughs> hey, listen. Where was you, bro? Hey, I met this girl a year and a half in. You know, she told me she had a past and whatnot, you know. But I was like, you know what? We're in love. You know, like, I love you. I, I don't care about your past. Like, right. I, I she loves you, right you and a bunch of other niggas. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that, though. And so, basically... I, I went to her and I was like, hey, is there any chance like you had sex with any other guys? <laughs> <That's a crazy laughs> <thing. laughs> is there any chance? Right. Be a man. What's your body <laughs> count, girl? Damn. I know, bro. No, she's like, fuck, you caught me. And I was like, I caught you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No. No. What? Is she going? said that line, you caught me? Yes. She said that. <laughs> and, then, and then her next words, next words out of her mouth is, it's not what you think, though. Like what? What do you mean? It's not like, <laughs> I had sex with somebody else, right? 
she's like, it's not that bad. I was like, how's it not that bad? She's like, well, you know, I just called up one of my old clients. And I just needed some money. I was like, what? Oh, she was a prostitute? She was hella a prostitute, and she needed money for rent. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was literally, like, shook, bro. Like, I could not, like... Damn, how could she ask you for like, no money, hey, no, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Two words, man. Love yours. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, though? Hey, so, yeah. So, I was... I, I basically... I, I stay with her because I'm a bitch. <laughs> like, I'm a bitch. I'm not go you still with her? I, I, no, I'm not still with her. She's crazy. <laughs> She like trying to beat up my grandma and shit. Oh, that's, that's where you drew the line. <laughs> I can do. Like, I, right, I can date a prostitute. I can date a liar. Okay, so her. I can date somebody that need money, but my so grandma. Her past life. When you were saying that, when she said she had a, a past, was that she was a sex worker or a prostitute? Yeah. I should have asked more at the beginning. Oh, so you didn't know all the way? Oh, so you just didn't ask. You were just like... Yeah, I just... I didn't know. She told me, like, she would get money from, like, older guys sometimes. Come on, you got a pass. I do, too. We're perfect for each other. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Goof-ass no, All right, brody. Appreciate you coming on, man. Hey, thanks. Y'all have a good day. You, too. About that caller, sometimes you think, like, damn, I've been through a lot. You know, you think about the relationships you've been with, and if you haven't had good luck in your relationships... And you're and you're still not near marriage. And then you hear stories like that, and yeah. just be like, "Oh, okay, my <laughs> shit going <good. laughs> yeah. a yeah. lot better than I thought." You know, like especially the it could be it could be worse people. Yeah. Like I would be that in that situation. Like, like it could be worse. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> just thinking like, "Oh man," my, my, it's my. funny sometimes. Like people's like bad experiences in life kind of give you a, more of a perspective of, of your yeah. like problems you're going through. You just like, bro. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe it, bro. I tore my ACL my <laughs> senior year of college, bro. I was supposed to go to the pros. There's a nigga next to you like, yeah, I had my shit amputated, bro. <laughs> who, who brought this nigga, bro? I do also, I'm not going to lie, I do also hate the, uh, but my situation is worse people, too. Especially in a conversation. Mm, yeah. Especially, it, like, it, the ones I hate, too, bro, is, like, say, like, somebody passes away, right, in your family, like a grandma or something. And then somebody's like, oh, yeah, bro, my grandma passed away. Like two weeks ago, too, bro. This you gonna go through a little grieving phase and shit like that. I, sometimes I, yeah, it's yeah. like, or they trying to up. Or yeah, like my that. grandma died like a year ago and shit yeah. like that, and my dad too. They at your funeral talking about you, like, man, I miss my grandma, and they come up to you, be like, bro, you got this, bro. If I got it, bro, <laughs> both of my grandmas died at the same time, yeah. and they had a double funeral. Yeah. I wasn't crying as much <laughs> as you. You know that, right? <laughs> like, yeah, bro. And I had three granddads die. <laughs> bro, how you got three granddads? <laughs> or one, people of, t- one of them was gay. <laughs> <laughs> or when people try to like out hood each other, like yeah. nah, bro, they kill him. I said nah, bro, we got definitely got more killers. But it you. is to a sense though. Like the only time I give people the green light to do that, I feel like some people um they listen to the way somebody talk or listen to like the way like look at the way he interacts with people and they try to be like, oh, he not like that, and it's just like. Like, what is like that to you? Yeah. Like, would I slap the shit out you? That means I'm like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, what is like that to you? Like, obviously, if you look at me crazy, I'm not going to kill you. Yeah. Like, okay, if that's what like that is, I'm not like that. But, I know. Uh, but like, the thing, even praising the like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, like pra- praising the, like, quote, unquote, crash dummy of the group. Like, like that. That. You'll see, <laughs> I see people see their favorite NBA player, uh, Almost getting a scuffle. Yeah. He's like, so and so not like that. Exactly. What is like that? Going <laughs> he was to win born, a million dollars? Yeah. <laughs> like, is that like that? <laughs> or be like, oh, that person's from whatever na- uh, rough neighborhood. He'll he, automatically it, beat his ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's not true. <laughs> I could take the hoodest nigga in the world and Brooke Lopez and still slap the shit out of him. Like, I don't know what you think about Brooke Lopez, but he a giant, bro. Like, you can't do nothing with oh, him, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, next caller. Yo. Yo. Welcome to Crash Emmy's Podcast. What's good? What's up? What's up? Damn, y'all niggas really cold. Yeah. yeah. That's what we said we was going to do. Hey, before we start, I say uh, RIP and Kara. Oh, RIP, Goku, uh, um, Dragon Ball Z yeah. creator. Oh, shit. I thought you said <laughs> Kira. I'm like, bro, that type of shit. Yeah, that's, that's a real nigga. Okay, I'm about to say you drawing the, um, making it sad over here and shit. I'm thinking you just oh, lost bad. somebody. My bad. My bad. 
And you was dedicating a listener call to somebody that's dead. I was like, yo, nah. this ain't that type of podcast. This <laughs> 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 type of shit, this nigga. Oh. First of all, no RP thing. to my dead homie. <laughs> like, <laughs> like no. nigga, what? <laughs> we don't know if you on the losing side or not, my nigga. <laughs> you might be losing your war. Don't get the niggas on us. Nah, hell no. Nah. Ain't no RP, nobody. Ain't no shouts nah, out to nah, no nah. gangs on this bitch. And then starts to out with RP to my homie, you know, whatever. <laughs> And we smoke, and we smoking on that other. <laughs> like, nigga, yeah. what? Find out this. No, 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 Key Nair. That's not Key. No, this no, is no. Michael. Who that? Oh, Michael. Yes. That's the white guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's white? <laughs> Never mind. Let's go. <laughs> this guy's drunk as hell. All right. What's um? What's the worst thing you've ever searched on the internet? Uh, I had searched. Look. Y'all might look at me weird, but I just wanted to know because I was like, are these are these little niggas walking around like tripods? So I was like, I was like, can midgets have big penises? <laughs> <laughs> and look, did he say tri- are these dudes walking around like tripods? <laughs> <laughs> but look though, look, I was really curious because like. Men just always have a whole like when they be married, they have a big ass family, and men just usually marry other midgets. So I'd be like, are they like destroying these midgets' insides with a like, like a like? Be quiet! Hell no! It's just big off. I can't, bro. Why? Why you look that up though, bro? Because I was curious. Like whoa, what? Whoa, made- whoa, whoa. No! I no! no. <laughs> no. <laughs> We got him. He's even got the line. Oh my god! <laughs> he said that the first time too. <laughs> he, <said no. laughs> he knew he fucked up too. He said no. Oh my god, I can't wait to play that back, bro. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> like what the, well, how does that even pop up in your head? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Go ahead and get back. <laughs> <laughs> We got to right, message me and say, y'all got to let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Oh, this nigga. What up? Freaky ass nigga. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Explain yourself, bro. Well, can, I, can I answer the other question now that you had posted on the screen? No, nah, explain yourself, my nigga. <laughs> fuck all that. All right, before, after, after. Okay, yeah. No, nah, hell Go nah. ahead, go ahead. Explain first. Explain first. No, listen, listen. I, I had looked it up because it was a midget. Look, no homo, though. Listen, you listening? I ain't look up the. I ain't look up to see it, but I just wanted to know. <laughs> and it was a midget that worked in my barber shop, and he used to sweep up the hair. And I was like... No, this, wait, relates, wait, wait. No, this relates to a real person. Yes, let me finish. Go ahead. No, I wasn't looking it up for him, but I was just like, do this nigga just be walking around like... Like three legged, like <laughs> that's the first thing you thought when he's sweeping. No, that was the first thing I thought, but it was a thought <laughs> a while because he'd be flirting with the girls, and I'd be like, Can he really handle that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you hate it, bro. Nah, you that hate nigga hate it. Hate it. <laughs> <You bad as laughs> <not. laughs> well, listen, can I answer the other question though? I don't know, man. <laughs> what, what was the other it's question? Be weird. I, I got I to gotta get this off my chest. It really hurt me though. What was the other question? What was the other question? It said, uh, at what point did you realize your relationship wasn't going to work out? Okay, I got you. At what point did you realize your relationship wasn't going to work out? Uh, When her other nigga sent me pictures of them together. Oh. Yeah. So, I got I to gotta explain because it really hurt me though. But now nah, I'm over it now. This is like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but listen, this is like that nigga hurt to the motherfucker. He trying to fix it, talking about dog. Nah, I'm over. Last year in April, man. Damn. So, yeah, man. So I uh, damn. 
so we was together. We was only together for like maybe six months. We started talking in 2022, like October ish. And yeah, we was together. I was buying her stuff and shit like that. Like, huh? bro, why y'all laughing? I, we're not laughing. Bro. <laughs> we're not laughing though. Bro, I'm dead ass serious, bro. <laughs> Right. Go ahead. Allergies. Not, you just like, wow, that's crazy. Uh, but, yeah, so then uh, around, like, February, it started getting weird. Because for Valentine's Day, I got her for some flowers and shit. And then I ain't see her for, like, a month. So her flowers had died. So I got her flowers for no reason. I didn't even get to give it to her. I ate the chocolate that I got her and shit, too. So then... In April, it was her birthday and shit. So her birthday passed, and I'm on her post. I'm like, oh, my heart, yeah, yeah, that type shit. And I post on my story, and then a nigga text me. The nigga text me, he said, yo, you fuck with, uh, con- oh, shit. <laughs> we'll bleep it out. We'll bleep it I don't out. give a fuck. Fuck that hoe. No, no, we're <laughs> definitely bleeping it out. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, well, she is a hoe, but fuck her. But, uh, <clears throat> he was like, yo, you fuck with her? And I was like, I was like, yeah, why? He's like, Man, we fuck with the same girl. I said, you lying. And then he sent me Yo, pictures. Ush, what up, Kel? <laughs> Let me introduce you. <laughs> Go ahead, my <laughs> To this girl. Think I really love this girl. Damn. But look. So, so he sent me the pictures of them. They was kissing and shit like that. And then he sent, me <laughs> he sent picture you pictures of them kissing. It's crazy. It's fucking insane. Then he sent me a picture of them at a, on a date at Dave & Buster's. Mind you, <laughs> they went on this date in February. February is the month that I didn't see her. And they went on the date like a day a day or two after I had saw her. Like I saw her at the end of January. They went on the start. So, 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 let me see. Let me hear this. So, you didn't see her for a month at some point, right? Right. Okay. Right. Do y'all live in the same city? Yes. We live in D.C. Do y'all live near each other? <laughs> we was probably like 15. Did y'all, did y'all text in between that time? Did we text? Yeah, yeah, we was talking every day on the phone and all that. She was just like her mom type shit. Oh, she always blamed on her mom, but she was seeing, hmm. So you right, see- that's what I'm saying. And mind you, she told me she was at David Buster's with her friends. She called me while they was there and all that, meaning that she left the nigga, called me, and then went back with the nigga. That's respect, by her respect. Um, what the fuck you mean, respect? Oh, my fault. Uh, <laughs> but also, yeah, so they was doing all that, and then... The, she didn't even she didn't even admit to it. She tried to say that she was trying to get the nigga set up for her brother that just got in jail and yada yada and lied. And I ain't gonna lie. At first, I was about to crash out. Then, after me and her had rekindled a few times, I, and I I finally got over her. After like a year, I'm good now though. Yeah. You ain't a ham no more. That's what you mean. <laughs> nah, I wasn't a ham. No, uh, set up? A ham. No. Did we just, uh, did just miss the, the no, crazy? She, she lied and said the reason she was with that dude is because her brother is getting out of jail and she want to set him up. That's what she right. told dude. Exactly. And that's then, crazy, and though. She got, she got. That's a crazy lie. That's what I'm saying. And then that right. lie. That's helped, a crime. <laughs> but that lie helped her get this ham ass nigga back. And then they started rekindling. And then his ham ass fell for it again like a stupid ass no, nigga. I ain't never fall for it. <laughs> oh, shit. You still on the phone? My fault, bro. What's happening? Hold on. I ain't never fall for it. I was just like, yeah, you could come over. I ain't got shit to do. Yeah, it's not like you fell for it. Man. <laughs> oh, I, she, I fall for the it, thing though. is, the thing is, she don't, she, she never wanted a relationship with you. She just wanted to use you, and then obviously you continue to let her use you. Nah, she ain't use me. I ain't stop. I, I stopped spending money on that hell. It was just, it was just penis. She was getting. That's it. Nah, I would say you lost this one, buddy. Nah, I don't think I lost. I feel like it was. I mean, that's usually game. people. So was this before was after you were? Game, man. Was this before after you started uh, googling? Um, little. No, it was definitely like three, four. Before the 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 midget thing. You said was this before after what? The midget thing. The 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 midget. Yes. What the fuck this got to do with that? Was this before or after you you were searching that on the internet? It was before. It was before. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> 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 Yo, what's work? Welcome to Crash Homies Podcast, bro. What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? Niggas always trying to play cool in this bitch. What's up, what's up? What up, my nigga? Damn. We can't chop it up. I'm at work, guy. I'm almost off. 
You ain't, damn. Why you so you sound far away? Oh, hold on, hold on, I got you. What about now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound like that nigga talking into a fan. <laughs> I was on the radio. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I got a question for you. Yeah. What's the worst thing you've ever looked up on the internet? Uh, what I put? Oh, uh, I used to go and search up like different terrorist groups, so that I, I could study them and like this, it can correlate with my life type shit. Did you say terrorist group? <laughs> I'm gonna keep this nigga on the phone. I'm scared of him. Uh, so why'd you look him up again? And started looking up different ones, like different like groups, Al Qaeda and the Taliban. And all I'm like, damn, I low key fuck with what they got going on. So <laughs> like, <laughs> let me see what city is it. Yeah, nigga, we just contacted the Pentagon, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You're cooked. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Man, they'll be at your door soon. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you ever seen a flashbang before, my nigga? <laughs> oh, yeah, like All right, bet, bet, bet. Get, get ready for a real life version. <laughs> Here we go, bang it out. Let's do it. All right, appreciate you coming on the podcast. Good luck for the next fifty years in Guantanamo <laughs> Bay, whatever it's called. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that nigga cooked. That was confusing. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Let me find I'm on the podcast right now. The, what? Yeah, yeah, you on the podcast? Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Welcome to Crash Race Podcast. What's good? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for having me on. You My say, name's Karina. Karina, you ain't gotta say your name, girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's up? You say you got story time now. I do, I do, and I tried to tell you guys this last week, but I didn't get chosen, so I was like, give me a sec. So, I just out of like a eight year relationship right like about a year ago but the plot twist to the story is that my ex and I we were still living together during the time <laughs> while we were broken up I know it's kind of weird but keep in mind like we were on a contract lease we were in an apartment me him and his mom or whatever and we were broken up like the last six months so we were both just like doing our own thing, you know, like single. So like we weren't like really tripping off each other no more or whatever. And then <laughs> so come to find out, like he was he started talking to some to some girl, which obviously, you know, I found that out by going through his phone. You know how that goes. I still had his passcode. Like my face, my face ID was still on there. He had not taken it off, which I don't know why. You wait, you put his but, face ID on his phone? And you blame yeah, like, so we when we were together, we both had our face ID on our phones, right? Yeah, y'all shit was but... doing from the start. That shit was crazy as hell. <laughs> but, okay, but he, I don't know why he didn't take mine off, you know, after we broke up. But anyways, that's besides the point. So I went through his phone, like, maybe a couple months into it being broken up. So I found out he was talking to some girl, like I said, and then... Like, I didn't, so obviously, like, I, I cared and it hurt me, but at the same time, it's like, there's not much I can do, you know, like, we're broken up, we broke up for a reason or whatever, but look, this is where it gets juicy, okay? So, like, I would say another, like, two or three months go by, he comes home late, late at night, like, around, I would say, two, three in the morning, and I had gone to the gym that same night but I fell asleep so I went to sleep without showering right so when he got home I obviously I woke up so I was like you know what fuck that like I'm gonna go shower so I'm in the shower whatever do my thing I get out and then it's already like like we're like almost three in the morning by then and I hear a phone vibrating so I'm like whoa like I know it's not my phone because what the fuck who's calling me at three in the morning so then I go and it's his phone ringing oh, no. with like with the contact saved and everything like he had no shame whatsoever so i was like what the fuck like you know what i'm gonna just answer the phone <laughs> so i did and it was the girl and then next thing you know <clears throat> we just started exchanging information she was like who's this like why are you answering my man's phone blah 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 i was like hold up hold up before we know we, we go at it like let me introduce myself 
So I told her everything, like everything, everything, how how long we were together, how we were still obviously living together. You know what I mean? And pretty much the point of the story is that the next morning when he woke up, he saw the call log. And me and this girl, we talked on the phone for like a cool, I would say like almost two hours. God damn, just that's pretty, ridiculous. Nah, for real, like damn near two hours. Just, so that's what I did. Day, the next day. Day, the next day. I That's so nice. Day. Wow. No, you snapped. Nah, nah. Listen, you listen. Snapped. You did your work, bro. Wow. You did your work, wow. for sure. That's listen, crazy. Listen. Hey, listen. That's so That's diabolical. That's the stories we had on here. Hold and on. We're going to go, hey, we gonna have on. to go to commercial. We're going to have to go to commercial really quick. We're going to run these ads. We appreciate the show. We run out of time. Our producer just told me we run out of time. We appreciate everybody that's been on the show today. Much love. Shout out Manscaped. Shout oh, out all you. of our all of our people. <laughs> uh, and we go do the <laughs> we go do the countdown <laughs> like we usually do the countdown. Ready? Everybody, say it with us. Ten, nine, eight, seven. The caller not doing it. Five, four, oh, five, four three, two, eight, one. Crash the base. Thank you, guys. No, you got to say crash the bay. Oh, crash the bay. Yeah. Woo. Great, great job. job. Right. Great Thank job. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, that Fuck that shit, bro. I feel like my life was withering away. I was like, what the fuck going on? <laughs> the, hey, that was a whole 10 minutes. I can't get back, boy. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> when I'm on my deathbed, I'm going to think about that 10 minutes I wasted. The, like the, oh, man. Shout out to her, though. It was just too long winded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. This app is an easy way to make cash just by making picks on your favorite players. All you have to do is pick if players will have a higher or lower stat total to win while picking between two and five players to build a pick entry. Underdog is available in more than 30 states. Make sure to support the show and click the link in the bio. Download the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. They will also match your first deposit up to $100 when you use the code DUMMIES. Anyway, thank you for Underdog for sponsoring this episode. And make sure to use the code DUMMIES. Uh, now back to the show. So this is a clip of Offset on a million dollar worth of game, ex explaining his um, relationship with Quavo. In most groups, it's a it's a mm -hmm. it's a standout. It's a who everybody know, and then it's a weak link. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't none of that, and then all positions was filled. Like, and it wasn't no issue. You know what I mean? Like everybody's they man, but it's five. One thing I can say about my group, man, them folk five mm -hmm. to this day. Mm -hmm. I, I I can never hate nothing. Them five mm -hmm. ain't no plan. Like we come from, we the same. We the same tree. We some fight. We know it too about each other. Like, man, but if I, regardless, you know what I mean. And we don't. And, and and I'm not. I'm not. I don't feel like I owe it to people to show how much me and bro love each other. So when be, and I'm gonna say that because I'm on some real, real <laughs> podcast. This ain't no interview where somebody trying to ask me right. on this. So I speak like I. I don't feel like it's our job to show y'all how we, like, we got some. And he, he was speaking. He, I, honestly. Appreciate him saying that too, because basically, you know, he's just saying that he doesn't owe the internet for him to take take a picture smiling with Quavo and just so, so they know they're good and shit like that. They yeah. are gonna handle this shit, yeah, behind scenes, especially yeah. with the the stuff they're going through, especially with the takeoff thing. Yeah, I just feel like sometimes the internet or just people in general, it's sometimes the celebrities' fault because they put their business out there. Yeah, but sometimes people need to know every detail of somebody's life. I think, I think celebrities think they owe people that until they like go through something and mm -hmm. they see how fans flip. Yeah, because you'll see like you you'll see all these people like you've seen like Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, all these people was more active on social media at one point in time. Yeah, and at at some point in time they did something that the fans, the media didn't like, and they saw like how they were treated. Like when Offset was going through the thing with Cardi or. The thing with takeoff or anything that he's went through, the thing with Jay Prince, 
right? He's seen people turn on him. So why would I give you the satisfaction of knowing what's going on in my life? Just yeah. keep, keep guessing. Keep spreading <laughs> rumors like you've been doing. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, no matter what, I feel like there's no pleasing the audience sometimes. It's not. Uh, obviously, <laughs> we see some of that. Like, yeah. <laughs> that, man, if, I don't know if y'all ever, like, probably none of this fan base has a Facebook. Because mm-hmm. y'all real people. <laughs> no, but... Like, if y'all go go look at the comments on our Facebook. Like, the comments on our Facebook are not good. Like, <laughs> I like, never really checked. Like, we still get viewed. We got, like, 200,000 followers on Facebook. But, like, I would say, like, 60% of the comments are negative. Like, why do these dudes have a podcast? <laughs> it's like, bro, shut the fuck up. Man. You're from uh, Council Bluffs, Iowa, nigga. You, you got a lot bigger things going on. Actually, maybe not, though. Huh? They're from there. No, I'm saying a lot bigger <laughs> things going on. Like... You shouldn't be hating on us. You yeah. should be trying to figure out a way to get out of Council Bluffs, <laughs> Iowa, nigga. Are you worried about me? Shout out to, shout out to all our uh, Iowans. Is it are there Iowans? No, nah, it's some good people from Iowa. Man. What are Iowans? Uh, people from Iowa called? Uh, Iowans? I don't know. I just know they got Caitlin Clark. <laughs> <laughs> no, you even get a women's basketball? Do you see that? Uh, the the brawl. The brawl, oh between yeah, between LSU and South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it was okay. really a brawl, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hair pull and pushing. Yeah, um, it wasn't even like it wasn't no hair pull. I just no, saw Angel Reese pulling somebody hair. Oh, she did. Yeah, like <laughs> really, see, really bad. Like, it was so that. obvious. How do you see that? The, the thing about the thing that bothers me about I love where the women's game is going. I kind of like the drama. Yeah, but like the. The obvious miscall, the refereeing in women's basketball is atrocious. Oh, I didn't need, need see the game. It's so, I'm just like, and you can watch any game. Mm-hmm. It's so fucking bad. Yeah. Like, one thing will be a foul, the next one won't. You'll mm-hmm. see a girl get, like, thrown to the ground. Nothing happens. Yeah. Like, obviously, in the men's sports, there's still, like, bad refereeing in college basketball. Mm-hmm. But women's basketball is the worst refereeing. They need to get better refs. And then um, the brother, her brother, um, what's her name? He jumped. Uh, Flaugé. Uh, yeah, Flaugé. Yeah, she, he, he jumped into the crowd. Yeah. I'm going to jump from the crowd. Yeah, and made contact. He didn't, like, push anybody. He kind of tried to get something on the sister. Yeah, there, I kind of get it. There's a viral video of this woman. I don't know why her text messages were so big. You mm-hmm. know you can turn your text messages super big on yeah. the phone. She was just, like, she was basically calling Flaugé and her brother thugs, but she was texting somebody, and somebody was recording behind her back. Really? And then she was like, these thugs. No her way. Her thug brother just jumped in the crowd. No way. He's arrested. She's a thug. Her dad's That's real? a thug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you sure? Know, huh? You sure? Yeah, I literally saw the video. Damn, I didn't yeah, see that. Yeah, yeah. What, the thing about it's crazy, I always wanted to talk about that, is it's like, like, people are, the, the racism is like, it's so complicated now. What do you mean? Like, you can't even tell if someone is racist anymore because there's so many walls to, yeah. like, racism. Like, I know I talked about it before, like, the whole elevator situation. Right. You would say I always like give the benefit of the doubt that this woman is rushing to the elevator because I'm a man and she's a woman. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she's been through. And then I let her get the elevator. I might walk slower. I can tell you in a rush. I can Mm -hmm. tell you don't want to take the elevator. with me. But when it's a woman, it's a white woman. I'm just like, I don't know, bro. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if you running because I'm a man. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it just like like thug is a word. It's just be like, Mm. No, like, bruh, yeah. unless you see somebody do some shit, like, you see somebody rob a store, you shouldn't be calling nobody and a thug. It's people, crazy people were getting on the brother a little bit saying, like, what was he going to do? I think for him, it probably was just, like, an instant reaction. I saw my sister get pushed. I'm 10 feet away from her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to walk forward and try to break it up because it's a 6'8 a girl. <laughs> he, like, 5'7". Yeah. Or something like that, yeah. man. He jumped on that court. <laughs> I think, like, when he was in his seat, Mm-hmm. He was the same height as the girls, but when he got over the scores table, yeah. <laughs> he got on the same floor. He started looking up like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, going yeah. On? Like, it didn't yeah, seem like he obviously it didn't seem like he was trying to attack anybody. He was just trying no. to get people because you see a a mountain, of <laughs> a big ass girl that's on your sister, and your sister's on the floor, so on you don't see, floor. so you don't see your you don't sister, see your anymore. sister anymore. Yeah. You don't know she got knocked out or yeah, nothing. Exactly. Yeah, because if she was out cold, yeah, that people are getting stepped on and shit like that. Yeah, it's just yeah. like instant brother reaction. Like sometimes with siblings or friends or something, you don't really think twice about helping that person you just like jump to conclusion obviously yeah. i'm pretty sure if he had some time to think about it or he was further away yeah and then to come down and then he's like okay from his perspective it was like it was on and popping yeah like he saw bodies but when he got down there, and it was chippy already when he got down there everything calmed down yeah. he's like oh fuck yeah <laughs> i thought i was gonna get to knock one of these yeah. motherfuckers up nah. and then uh the 
I heard Shannon Sharp and, and Ocho talking about this too, was about the different reactions from the coaches where um, Don Staley was basically saying that, you know, apologizing and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then what's her name? Mulkley. Yeah. Um, she was saying uh, she wished the girl would have uh, pushed Angel Reese. Yeah. And I'm like, that's just antagonizing the situation. You don't feel I, like I, I like both answers. You do. You got to take on the attitude. But I just team. like what they I were hate, explaining. They're explaining. Hate. It was like, if, Worlds were roles were reversed, and both of them said whatever they said. Yeah, that would have been more. But guess what? What they not? They, uh, <laughs> she's white. She's black. Yeah, yeah. Don can't get away with that. Yeah, it is so be it. And also, um, of course, it might just not be in her character to to say that. Right, yeah. that just might not be her. Yeah. <laughs> and we know it's the other person's mm-hmm. style. Yeah, and that's the style of her team. And that's maybe that's the edge that they need to keep to like keep going. Yeah. Like that's, that's college, I feel like that's what drives that's a part of what drives LSU because a lot of people don't know LSU wasn't the overall number one ranked team when they won the championship last mm-hmm. year, so it's just like that part of like disrespecting every team like we here and nothing they know that drives them to win and to keep that competitive advantage I know the whole world is watching if not a lot a lot of people are going to be watching in the final four probably when yeah. they meet up again or when they meet up with Iowa or whatever it is, but. She knows, like, this is the message that's going to be portrayed for the rest of the tournament, yeah. for the rest of, like, whatever happens. This is the message I need to put out there to know. College women's uh, basketball is, like, on fire. Man. Like, this, it's literally on fire. Like, Man. there's a lot of teams, a lot of stories. Like, yes. Uh, WNBA has to, like, take some type of notes. No, 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 no. I think the WNBA is going to be good, though, because... These stories are gonna transfer over. The, yeah, thing the, that, stars. the thing that made the the thing that made the NBA popular um, in the eighties was Bird and Magic, mm-hmm. and that rivalry started in college. Like they met in a championship. Yeah. So now, if Angel Reese gets drafted the next year, oh, Caitlin Clark, and they meet up in the finals, that story is there, and yeah. now that draws extra viewers. I, th- I think the drama of like because that's what happens in men's basketball. I don't think I don't know why it's so frowned upon in women's like. Mm-hmm. I think also, like, they need to – hopefully they can keep the level of dominance once they get to the WNBA. Because, obviously, when you play any college sports, yeah. there's some people – there's a lot of people on the team that never would make the NBA, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's yeah. like you're going against those people that aren't that good. They're college-level good, obviously, yeah. but not next level. So, you can kind of – you know, Kaylin Carr can kind of do what she wants damn near sometimes. Yeah. And she has the gr- ultimate green light. I know that's the thing, that's the thing about the WNBA is, like <laughs> – the best players in the WNBA aren't, like, on social media like that. Mm-hmm. Like, they aren't, like, the rah-rah type. Like, yeah. Brianna Stewart, probably best player in the WNBA yeah. right now. Sabrina and all Sabrina, them, yeah. like, you never see them out, like, ah, get off me. Like, you might see them do, like, a sign or, like, a three-point to the head. But they never, they not out there. Like, yeah. If but, somebody like Angel Reese, like, could definitely, she drives the sport. Yeah. Right? She makes it, like, I wouldn't say Caitlin Clark would be less watchable. But it does create to the storyline of Caitlin Clark. Now a lot more people are rooting for Caitlin Clark. Yeah. And then a lot more people are rooting against Angel Reese and then rooting with Angel Reese because everybody rooting with Caitlin. You yeah. know what I mean? It just but yeah, I think it would be interesting with this next crop of like the uh, college players going to NBA because we haven't like this yeah. this next crop are like the most popular I've seen in but, a while. But like I said, some of it, it <coughs> sucks because a lot of rock, like the girls that aren't rah rah, they're way better than everybody. Yeah. So these girls, are, some of these girls are going to get cut. They're not yeah. going to make it. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> They're going to be playing over teams. <laughs> Did we talk about the Jalen and Drea thing? I think so. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we yeah, talked we about person. Yeah, we did. Because I said th- those kids like fantasize over. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I got a question for you. What what was the hardest part about working a nine to five? Because neither one of us work a nine to five anymore. Uh-huh. And I feel like I'm now separated enough to where I'm comfortable talking about my experience working a nine to five. For me, it had to be the amount of not doing anything. Cause like I'm like the jobs I do now, obviously when I'm done with the job, I can get, I can get done. I can get done building a website in like an hour or I can done with a marketing campaign for a company in two hours and Mm -hmm. I can just stop doing work. Right at work. It's just like nine to five. They just want you to look busy for eight hours and I don't think anybody can do work for eight hours consistently, unless you're doing like a factory type of line yeah. type of work where you have to That's keep moving. I think, especially, I don't, it, it's probably like this in every job, but especially the corporate world. It's just like, like you said, 
you're telling me to basically look busy mm-hmm. because some of this work I'm doing is never going to reach the light of day, yeah. right? You have me go organize a file or go look through something to see if I see something, but more than likely I'm not going to see that thing, and you kind of know that, but you need to make sure my day is full. And I feel like if you're an employee, <laughs> if your employee recognizes that you're doing that, it just, like, you're basically saying, fuck you. Yeah. And I don't think, I don't think like, CEOs and them get that. They're just like, I get you have some employees that don't know any better. If mm. I have him do that, he's not going to know that this is some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> but if you got an employee, like, maybe you should evaluate your employee. Like, damn, this nigga kind of smart. There, I probably shouldn't have him just looking through files. There was a book called The 4-Hour Work Week, or uh, The 4-Hour Work Day, and it was basically saying this company basically shortened their work hours to four hours a day because they, they said that they were more productive within those four hours than they were with those eight hours because it's like, Hey, I got four hours to get this stuff done. I just want to work four straight hours and be done. And it's, I think a lot of jobs should start incorporating that. I honestly think school like is too long too. Yeah. Like I think eight hours in school is a long ass time. And I think all these schools only eight hours a day because parents work eight hours a day. Yes. And everything <laughs> it's is like baby off yeah. eight hours a day. And yeah. who told us we got to work eight hours a day? Yeah. The government they keeping us busy because <laughs> they doing shit behind yeah. our back. <laughs> they doing shit during work hours. Yeah. But now it's like it's almost one of those things where you can never really unless you're a salary job that's the other thing the salary jobs oh, they about to work you like a dog <laughs> they about to work never, you, they'd be like hey man congratulations We're i gonna start you off at eighty thousand. i've never had a salary, salary job before i did i've always had uh hours i have <laughs> i've been protesting and demonstrated against yeah. <laughs> nah um, the salary jobs they gonna get you obviously it's definitely some perks of having a salary job right mm-hmm. if you miss work you don't have to worry about your paycheck being any smaller that's the reason why people want to get salary jobs i don't have to if you take a vacation though right yeah yeah you know what i'm saying but in uh, like other since like let's say my day gets cut short right and they send us home like just the thought of being sent home early yeah if you were hourly and i was salary and our boss comes over and be like hey Y'all been working hard. I know it ain't eight hours yet. It's only five right now. Y'all can go home. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm out. You're like, damn, I kind of need this extra little $80. Yeah. So is there anything else I can do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but, I, okay. but on the other, on the hand, salary, <laughs> they're like, it's 9 p.m. They're like, nigga, where you at? Yeah. yeah. Or it'd be like time to get off. Like, oh, can you, before you go, can you get uh, this and this done real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah. It's like, man, Come that's on, why man. I like doing, when I was hourly, we did the little business trips and stuff like that sometimes. And I was getting paid to be at the airport. I was getting paid when we went to lunch and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Dinners. Cause like, Hey, I'm hourly. Like I don't have to, you're not going to keep me here. It and feel good when you shitting on companies. Yeah. Like, God, man, I just made $30. Making this shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do YouTube. I would pay for this. I used to think about that when I was hourly. It's just like, damn, if I leave early, do I really want this uh, $18? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I always be thinking, like, damn, is this $18 really going to change my life right. in the long run? And then it's tax. And yeah. Then like, so it's really <laughs> 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 I was sitting here for $13, What yeah. the fuck is going on? Let <laughs> me about this bitch. He was, oh, Jake Paul. He's fighting Mike, Mike Tyson. Tyson. And they're saying it's going to be on Netflix, which is another streaming um, platform. Yeah, uh, competing with like the Amazon, you know, Netflix is trying to do their little live sports thing, yeah. and people are kind of on Jake Paul's ass because they think it's not a fair fight for Jake Paul, and Mike Tyson, and being old and shit like that. As long as he ain't do the shit during February, yeah, <laughs> we good. But uh, yeah, it's always interesting seeing legends like that. Uh, I don't know, like he's not doing it. Like I don't know if he's doing it for money, but obviously Netflix offered a shit ton of money to do this event because Mike Tyson's not doing anything less than like ten million. He's, right. not, he's not getting out of bed. And Ten million to box Jake Paul. I think most legends would probably do it. I just, I just hope he doesn't get knocked out. I don't want to see Jake Paul knocking out Mike Tyson. I don't think Jake Paul would do that to his I don't, brand. I don't think he would knock. Him I out think either. it's bad for both brands yeah. to get knocked out. There has to be something going on. Like I think that. he'll try to outbox him. Yeah, because I don't. Mike Tyson hits hard. He's still like technique and stuff. People are saying like Mike Tyson gonna destroy him. Like. Let's not forget he's 59. Him, I just literally saw him in an exhibition, exhibition match. He didn't look like uh, he was still in that mode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just, it just, I don't know, age and is a thing. Was, and he was going up against another older boxer. So yeah. it was just like, <laughs> hey, man. Stamina and shit like that. But I would be but interested. Hey, I'm going to watch. I can't I can't go against Mike Tyson, though. No, yeah. All right, so, be hard this, to do. so I got this tweet. He said, my boy pulled up to his girl's apartment unannounced, and she told him to wait an hour outside while she prepares. 
Somebody tell him what's going on because he thinks we're haters. What do you think is going on? If he was already there? So me and you pulling up, and I'm like, drop me off at this girl's house, yeah. right? And you like, oh, get out the car. And I was like, oh, I can't. She says she need an hour to prepare. She doing something. So there's a lot of factors that kind of play into this for me. Is one, did you say that you're on your way already? Had to. Right? But then... But even if you popping up, like, was prepare? Yeah, I mean, yeah. If I would understand it, if, especially if it was a girl, just like, especially if you don't know the girl like that, and it's just like your first couple times meeting, and she maybe wants An to get... An hour? Girls get t- take a long time to get ready. An hour? <laughs> yeah. I don't think... He was going over her house, though. I know. So they must be... Ain't no long time to get ready. He can watch her get ready. But then it's either unannounced or he didn't get the message before she pulling up that oh. you either, you had to pull up unannounced. I see you went to Ham University. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying I'm not saying anything's happening, but still, you pulled up to a place unannounced regardless. He didn't say unannounced. Though. It had to be then. How? Because if she if he announced it before she was getting there, regardless, she would have texted him. Regardless, if you talk to a girl and she say I need an hour to prepare and she's <laughs> letting you sit in the parking lot, She's fucking somebody at the basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> and she, that means she's not home. Or she, girl is she got home? front row in that opening season of the game, whatever he said. I don't know. It'd be interesting. It also, also depends on the apartment layout. Nah. <laughs> if there's one door, then she probably just really need to get ready. You know, a girl not asking for an hour. Only dudes ask for an hour, and that's a dude she's sleeping with up there. <laughs> I tell him I need I need about an hour to get my shit on. I need to shower real quick. But that's what I'm saying. I, it's, the thing is, like, what's the hour for? To finish what she's doing or to get ready or to, to get the place. Up, yeah. That's what I'm saying. What's her place is dirty and stuff like that. Dirty from fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it like that. What is your place is dirty and she needs to put on makeup and whatever and get yeah. dolled up and shit like that. No, you're going to do all that. You're like, damn, this place kind of clean. And then she's going to forget to clean off her window. And you're going to see an ass sheet print. You'd be like, what? The- <laughs> <laughs> ass sheet print is crazy. <laughs> he had you picked up against the window? <laughs> Uh, love what you were saying um, I saw a quote It said we're not using pause no more It's now no diddy No diddy <laughs> Nah I ain't going no, no, no diddy is crazy Nah no diddy is insane <laughs> It's just allegations man <laughs> No diddy is insane No I think no diddy is too It's like no freaky shit like, The only bad thing about it, No matter what No matter what the we, Diddy, what's we the Diddy know he's freaky. Yeah, he's a freaky nigga. Right. <laughs> so, Allegations, yeah, 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 yeah. All the, the, the Sean Watsons, Bill Cosby's, yeah. all these niggas, guilty, not guilty. Let's put it to the side. <laughs> freaky nigga. <Yeah. laughs> the nigga's a freak. The Sean Watson, I don't care if you're guilty, not guilty. Yeah, exactly. They're trying to take a black man down, whatever you want to say. <laughs> you's a freak, nigga. <laughs> that's what I mean by that. That's what people try not to, like, always missing that point. It was like, yeah. all right, whether, whatever side of the fence you kind of sit on it's like the nigga is a freak <laughs> like a freak. and we're yeah. not and nobody's acknowledging that no, part no, no, no he innocent bro he didn't do that shit bro yeah i don't know who else is <laughs> accused of some shit <laughs> nigga a freak <laughs> like regardless of like what happens yeah. anything it's a freak <laughs> jonathan majors <laughs> nigga weird <laughs> <laughs> You can't tell me that nigga not weird, bro. A Jonathan Major, he has the personality of a really good actor. Yes. You know, like, those actors that are really into their roles yeah. and, like, they, like... It look like put, he can be on Broadway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> he has like, that demeanor. Like, he... You know what I'm saying? Where's he, that... What's that hat called? The... the it's not the a kango. fedora. The Kango. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He definitely, like, he got a Kango in a pipe somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's old school, nigga. Nigga's wearing a Koofy for no reason. <laughs> Man, <laughs> ugly ass nigga. Stop playing. Shout out to Jay Bajers, man. Yeah. Oh, Girl. man. All right. Okay. So, I got something to say. People who don't know how to take it easy and relax hate others that take it easy and relax. Yeah, I, I, I see that a lot. It be Especially the people that, not to say they don't have a lot going for them, but they don't have a lot of responsibilities. So they always want to either, like, ask you to go out or spend money on unnecessary nah, shit. Oh, so you on the other side. I'm on the other side. What? I think y'all some hoes. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? Because I feel like 
people try to like like spray their anxiety on people. Yeah. Like, aren't you worried about this? No, nigga, I'm not worried about that. Like, <laughs> no, nah, I don't be, to, I don't be doing that. Hey, don't try to put me. Hey, bro, you ever thought about dying? Absolutely not. <laughs> I have not. So. Nah, but like, if you see your friend kind of like burning themselves into the ground, you told me this before. There's been times where you see me working a whole bunch and doing a million things. I'm telling like, bro, you need to slow down. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> nah, you definitely told me that before. <laughs> no, nah, I'm saying, we saying like, like, so there's, there's people that, um, you know, you ever like been around somebody and they just like, oh, why are you doing this? You know, why are you up so late? And it's like, cause I'm trying to live. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm trying to get this money. I'm trying to get this money. <laughs> All those people like, you know, shout out to y'all that got like 4.0s in college and stuff like that. But what are your friends at, nigga? <laughs> Bro, college is that one thing where... I'm not saying, obviously, don't try to get... 3.3 is good. Like, 3.3, take that point I don't think and G- apply it to your social G- life. GPAs don't matter anymore. No, they don't. Unless you play a sport and you need a, a above, like, a 2.5 or something to play, then, yeah, get, yeah. Your, get your shit up, nigga. <laughs> but in the long run, in terms of getting a job after school, especially if you have, like, a business degree or anything non-science, bro... Have fun in college. Do decent in college and do like and create relationships. Network. That's the most important Network, thing. Network, bro. If you go to a college, <laughs> even if you like a senior in high school, right? And you don't have to be friends with people, but it's okay to be associates with yeah. people. Like you see the dude that you don't like, but he a lawyer and his whole family full of lawyers. It, it'd be cool if you hand him a beer. Right? Hey, bro, what's up? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's the dudes you're going to call yeah. when, when your baby mama trying to get full, <laughs> trying to get full custody yeah. of your kids. Like, I be telling people, like, networking is so fucking important, bro. Man. <laughs> it's, like, the most important thing. People be scared to meet people. That, and too. They, and and I was use, like that, too, before. I was like... It, but they use it as, like, a like a superpower. I think same. people... People say that, hey, I don't fuck with people as, like, this cool thing to do. I was, that was like, me. Like, do you know it's harder <laughs> to fuck with people than it is not to, people act like it's hard not to fuck with people. You just be, I can be quiet, nigga. Yeah. Like, I cannot say nothing. I really hung my head on, like, saying, like, I don't even be out like that. I don't, like, fuck with people like that. I only got, like, close. I only got two friends in this neighborhood type of shit. But I was like, that shit was not getting me anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> that is just, like, actually getting out, meeting people and shit like that. All, like, all, uh, hey, all y'all that's right now be like, I don't need nobody but ooh, my little small circle. Yeah, you can have a small circle. Mm-hmm. You still got a network. And then if your circle too small, who gonna help you move, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> nah, me and Fat definitely have a, a thing about moving. There was a year, there was a time I was moving almost every year to a different place. Yeah, that shit was so annoying, <laughs> <man>. I'm like, <laughs> Bruh, you up like four to one. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> shit going on. I was about to move on purpose. Yeah, yeah nigga. <laughs> nigga, are you moving across the street? Across the street, nigga. No truck. Nigga. Nah, that Let's shit was it. crazy. <laughs> Try to get that washer down the stairs, the possible staircase. Nah. We have to actually unscrew the staircase. Your, your gay neighbors <laughs> came over. Yeah. They- <laughs> 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 your gay neighbors <laughs> why you have to dodge that they're gay but no because <laughs> we two like former college football yeah, players yeah. with this washing machine nigga I'm bleeding and everything yeah. <laughs> cause we scraped up here <laughs> I'm trying to pull the washing machine and your gay neighbors came over like I think y'all just got to take off the bar. And they unscrewed that shit. And I think they moved it all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> Have you ready to box? That dude was a, oh, a clutch, though. Yeah, that was clutch. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I like about gay people, though, responsible as fuck. You can't put that. I don't like that. What? You can't. I hate when people generalize. My the the my neighbors that are gay responsible as about fuck. To say my gay people. Yeah, my gay it. people. Those are my gay people. Okay. <laughs> responsible as fuck, bro. They ain't nothing. The grass was cut. Everything was always organized. I had to worry about nothing. There is. I hate that generalization because I I I know some. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some really unres- un- irresponsible gay people yeah. I know too. Or just people. <laughs> <laughs> They just people. <laughs> anyway, we we'll ended there. Um, that's been Crash Dummies episode one forty five. Am I right? Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. Make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. Um, tickets to my fight in the bio. If you make it, you can't make it. You can still purchase a ticket to support, and I'll have merch out soon. Peace. Hey, keep interacting with us on Twitter. 
uh, Instagram. Keep sharing stuff to y'all's story. Don't get lazy, man. <laughs> Let's go. Keep working. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's been Crash Dummies episode 145. You see one post a week, man. We're going to start.